This problem is related to potential energy diagram. Let us try yourself. So we have been given potential energy diagram for reaction. So here we have reactant that is A plus B and here we have product M plus N. Now let us discuss different parts. So first part says energy level of A plus B. So this level that is from X axis this is energy level of A plus B and this value is by plus Z. So this value is Y plus Z. Now next is energy level of M plus N. So this is the energy level of M plus N. From here we can say this energy level is Z. Threshold energy level, energy level, you see this energy level that is the what is the coordinate of energy at this point? So threshold energy level is this value. So this is x plus y plus z. Energy of activation for forward reaction. So this is the energy of activation for forward reaction. And this value is X. Energy of activation for the backward reaction. So this is the value of energy of activation for backward reaction. And this value is X plus Y. Heat of reaction. Heat of reaction is basically Y. So this value. So in graph we can say this value is heat of reaction delta H. This value is Y. Now let us discuss the next problem. So we have been given two reaction and rate constant K1 and K2 are given we have to find temperature so that K1 is equals to K2. For this we, we, we need temperature. So what is the temperature for which K1 is equals to K2? So we can equate K1 K2. K1 is 10 to the power 15 e to the power 2000 by T and this is 10 to the power 14 e to the power minus 1000 divided by T. Now if I divide this side, so we will have 10 to the power 15 divided by 10 to the power 14 e to the power minus 1000 by T e to the power minus 2000 by T or we can write So from here we can write e to the power 2000 by T become positive now if I take log both side on the base of E so this becomes simply 1000 by T and this will be ln 10 on the base of E we can convert this on the base of 10 that is 2.303 into log 10 on the base of 10. So this value is 1. So from here we can say 1000 by T is equals to 2.303. So temperature is 1000 divided by 2.303.
so 434 Kelvin so at 434 Kelvin both reaction will have same rate constant same rate constant so basically this equation this problem is related to equating two rate constant expressions